there. Greetings. Hello. I have another video today on EMF protection. Um, just in case you're wondering, my name is Shari, also known as Kamala. I have other um, more yoga videos on this channel, um, but recently I'm focusing on EMF protection. Um, and in case you're wondering, my background, um, I've been a massage therapist for over 30 years, a yoga instructor for close to 20. I um, have a degree in holistic health science, a bachelor's from Quantum University. And I've just, in general, been an enthusiast and um, a private researcher and explorer of alternative healthcare methods particularly natural and rejuvenative healthcare methods for um, 30 to 40 years. I'm focusing more on EMF protection lately as the global situation, technological situation is coming to a point where it's definitely out of hand um, in terms of the frequencies that are being generated in the atmosphere um, which have detrimental health effects. And this information is not openly being made known to the masses and people have to really do their own research to get information. But the information on the detrimental effects of artificial and incoherent electromagnetic fields which are emanating from devices, power lines, the wiring of your home, and particularly cell towers and cell phones is ubiquitous and is gaining momentum. Hopefully we're going to be turning it, but gaining momentum um, to the point where atmosphere itself is unhealthy. Um, another way that people term this is the air itself is weaponized. So yesterday I posted a video which was just addressing like common questions which a lot of people don't know what EMF protection is or why they need EMF protection. And so that video was more generalized um, addressing the broader issue and today I'm going to focus particularly on cell phones because um, this is something that we all have and it, there's a quick fix. Here I've got a, a neutralizer on my phone. Um, so that's what I'm going to focus on today. So, um, and yesterday I talked about um, just the frequencies of organic life. Like what is the atmospheric on the level of the sound waves, on the level of the unheard sounds? that organic life, humans, animals, and plants, what are the frequencies that they thrive in? And um, it has been shown scientifically that organic life forms need to be in touch with the Earth's heartbeat, the Earth's rhythm, which is known as the Schumann resonance, or 7.83 hertz. And I pointed out in that video that 7.83 hertz corresponds to the human brainwave state of the alpha state. And what is the alpha state? That is a state of relaxed attentiveness. Um, it's a calm state. It's an open state. And um, part of what, so, so that is the frequency atmosphere which is supportive to life. Beings can thrive in that. What one of the effects that these artificial um, radiation, electromagnetic radiation, one of the effects that that has is it has a scrambling effect on our biofields. The human has a biofield that is, um, it's like a big bubble or a, the torus, which is six feet off of the body. So we don't start here, we start six feet away. And we have our own pulsations, our own waveforms. So everyone knows about the heart and the EKG, or the brain and the EEG. That is a known rhythm, right? 
electrical rhythm. We're electrical. We're totally freaking electrical. So we have our electrical state, which is harmonious when we're in nature. Like everyone knows the calming effect of being in beautiful nature, being by the waterfall, being by the ocean. You feel calmer. You're relaxed. You can go more into alpha. But the, the issue with the devices, and I, I mean, I know that we need to use them, especially right now. Um, but these frequencies that are not only out of the range of an organic human, but they are incoherent, which means they don't, they're not in jive, they're not in sync with our own rhythms. So they have a scrambling effect on our energy. So, you know, one of the more common symptoms of electromagnetic stress is people get irritable. They're irritable, they're impatient, they are reactive. I mean, these are all states of the high beta. And it seems as though um, our modern life, our modern cities, there's some kind of conspiracy to keep us there at that level, to keep us at that reactive level, the irritated level, you know, all the negative emotions reside in that brainwave frequency of the high beta. Uh, fear, anxiety, um, but the truth is, is the human has access to a wide range of other frequencies that are much more life enhancing, life supportive, and quite frankly, pleasant. So, so I'm just going to go over some of the do's and don'ts to do with your cell phone. So if you want a more comprehensive video where I talk about other devices, um, that's in the last video I did, and there's more coming. But today is just on your cell phone, because this is something that we all have. Okay, and we're all on it, some people more than others. So first thing is, um, <laughs> and I've seen someone do all of these things, don't hold it up to your head, okay? There's no reason to hold this up to your head. You've got a speaker function, okay? So keep it away from your head because the brain and the heart, these are the most vital organs, you know, that we have in this amazing you know, vehicle that we're in. So don't hold it to your head. There's tons of studies that, um, you know, brain cancer and tumors and things associated with radiation. And I'll link some of those studies below. But this is like totally established. Don't hold this to your head. There's no reason to hold it to your head. And on that note, <laughs> if you can avoid using Bluetooth or the wireless ear pods, I would not recommend those. And um, unless, I mean, if you're recording a video and you need to be hands-free, then fine, use the ear pods. But um, listening to music, prolonged use, no. Those things are transmitting. It's worse than just having um, a, a phone conversation. They're, they're actually transmitting incoherent frequencies, brain scrambling, brain cell frying frequencies right into your head. So I would avoid that, um, or just in moderation. I, 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 don't, I don't recommend Bluetooth. I recommend speaker and put up the volume and get it as far away from you as you can, okay? Don't rest it on your chest. I have a friend who lies in bed and he's got his phone on speaker and he puts his phone right on his heart. I mean, no. This is the vital organ, okay? It, again, it has its own frequencies, it has its own rhythm. Don't scramble your heart. Don't fry your heart, okay? Be kind, be kind to your body. Don't sleep with your phone, okay? A lot of people do. And even I was doing this because I was using certain brainwave frequencies to help me sleep. And a surprise, surprise, Insomnia is one of the top symptoms of EMF disturbance because these frequencies that are giving off, even though we can't hear them, 
we feel them and it's like a silent scream that's going on in the atmosphere all the time, 24 seven. It's like, ah, it's screaming. Or it's like, ah, it's like fingernails on a chalkboard. Even though we can't hear it, there's part of us that hears it and there's part of us that feels it. And that registers in our bodies and our experience as it's irritation, it's irritability. And then we get in bed at night and we can't unwind can't we can't relax you know so so don't sleep with your phone and if you're going to use sleep music or sleep hypnosis or binaural beats or whatever you're using then have your phone well with binaural beats you need to use headphones so i don't recommend having headphones on all night and i know a lot of people do that if you do do that make sure that your phone is on airplane and use wired headphones. Don't don't sleep with earpods. Um, if if it's not if you're listening to something and you're trying to sleep, um, and you can get away with not using earphones, then I recommend having the phone minimum six feet away from the bed, and just turn it up a little bit, and um, and have it on airplane mode for sure. Um, another thing is you can turn your router off at night, and that should help. Um, don't charge your phone next to your bed. So when you're charging your phone, when it's plugged into the wall, it's emitting even more nasty stuff that you don't want in your field. So when you charge your phone, have it away from where you're hanging out. And if you're working on your computer, don't have your phone, and I have two phones, don't have both phones and your iPad and, your com and be in front of your computer all at the same time. Try to limit yourself to one device at the same time. So if you're working on your computer, try to have your phone or your iPad on the other side of the room. Um, and the last thing is use a neutralizer, EMF neutralizer, or a shield on your phone. And so Either, either device is helpful. Some people really swear by the shields because this is hard science. It's the Faraday cage, which was discovered, in, I don't know the exact year, it was in the 1800s by uh, Michael Faraday. And it's basically based on the technology of a metal cage or a metal shield. And it will literally block EMF. Um, there's a lot of products that you can get that are phone cases that have this shielding um, material in them. And I'll link some of those below. Um, this is a neutralizer, and I will also link this below. And there's all kinds of sticker products available, and they're running off of the neutralizer um, strategy. So neutralizers, this one is made out of organite, which creates field changes. And if you want more information about Organite, I covered that uh, in depth in my last video, which I will also link below. So I hope you found this helpful, and I hope that um, you know it might help you kind of make some fine tuning in your habits to help protect yourself and protect your brain and your heart and your whole life, all your cells, from this um, this damaging radiation, which is everywhere. And so unfortunately, we've come to a point in the modern society is that the airwaves itself is becoming, uh, airwaves unhospitable to organic life and more hospitable to machines. So meditate on that and um, thank you for watching. Take care.